Okay, so in this video, I'm David. Welcome. This is Digital Essentialist, digitalessentialist.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about Bench, the bookkeeping service. Uh, I've been using it uh, over a year now, almost 18 months uh, since I started my business. It's been really, really helpful, super useful. Uh, and I'm going to compare a little bit of their bookkeeping service versus maybe some other ones. But most most of all, I'm going to show you why this one's so valuable. So for bookkeeping services, you could potentially pay, I don't know, maybe $25, $35 an hour or pay, uh, let's say, $80 a month for the service. And, and the pricing for Bench is a little bit higher. We'll look at it in a second. But overall, they give you an experience, and if you're into this experience, it's well worth it. So let's go over this a little bit. So they give you a breakdown of, of things they do, how they work. Basically, you get a, assigned an account manager, uh, which I don't think they actually do your books. They kind of just keep track of your books, and then they have people in the back end who, who are actually running the books. But the person you work with... Uh, for the first year and say five months, I worked with a, a gal named Jamie. She did a fabulous job. She crushed it. I think she got promoted because she was doing so well. So now I'm working with uh, someone named Andrea. Awesome. I'm so excited about it. Overall, they keep your books and they run the management, making sure all your accounts are there. Everything's getting consolidated the way it should, all of that stuff. And really, truly, what they do is prepare your books. Now, the big thing worth noting, let me go to features. The big thing worth noting is they are not CPAs. So they're not going to do your uh, taxes come the season. What they're doing is keeping your books so that when you do your expenses for your business, you're taxed just on your profit not on total revenue. So then you have a really clear understanding of how your business is running month to month, but at the same time, you're not doing your bookkeeping, which can be really helpful, especially when you don't know all the ins and outs of keeping your books. I think there's ways of doing this for yourself in QuickBooks, but I don't like accounting and I don't wanna get caught in the mayhem of it. It gets really crazy and I don't wanna be the one liable. So, Bench is a great tool because they do all of it. I'll show you a little bit of my account, but it's hard because you'll see my account and my numbers and I don't really want to share all the details. I'll show you a little bit, but I, I won't show you everything. Uh, and then from there, yeah, it, they, they offer all this information. At the end of the day, like you get a breakdown of everything. And if that's not even necessarily what you need, it's really helpful to start seeing where your money is going because then you could start to gauge where you can take it. Another thing Bench is not, they are not going to be your consultants. So if you're thinking, do I open an LLC or do I stay a sole proprietor? What do I do? They have a lot of blog articles about it, but they don't actually consult. What they do is strictly bookkeeping in a very professional way. So as long as you know that, you're, you're off to a good start and you'll feel very comfortable. Uh, right here, this is a really cool feature. You could connect your website, you could connect your Shopify, your PayPal, your credit cards, your bank accounts, anything to uh, Bench's backend. And basically what that does is that allows them to run reports or pull the statements and then all you have to do is categorize things once or twice and then they know. Anytime you get a charge, say, from Facebook ads or from this specific vendor, well, they know how to categorize it. So from there, they run through everything and basically could categorize everything for you. It's really, really beautiful. I think the hardest part for me is some of my accounts are not quote unquote business accounts. So then I have to download the statements, show them what is considered business uh, for that month because it varies each month and then send it to them. But that literally takes me five minutes, like literally takes me five minutes. I delay on it sometimes, but it literally takes five minutes. Categorization. Now, say they don't know how to categorize something. What they'll do is they'll send you this little uh, form and say, hey, there's a couple of things we need your help categorizing on. Uh, and, and then, yeah, it just explains what it is. Some of them say, what is it for? 
as the first prompt. And then some of them say, uh, like they give you examples. So they'll be like, we think this could fall in A, B, or C, or other. So let us know. And then you say, oh yeah, that's a, a advertising expense. If it's not, you could tell them what it is for. And then this feature is great. You have the flexibility. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, you have the flexibility uh, of communicating with them through messaging. You also can book calls with them. So I'm going to show you a bit into my account. So uh, this was a statement last year, right at the end of the year. They had a couple of things they needed from me. You can see there's these different sections on the left. There's this pulse, which is new messaging. Oh, well, let me explain. Pulse is kind of like an overview of the day to day of your business. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I it, They just started this feature, so I'm not 100% certain of how to, I don't need it necessarily yet. Messaging is really cool. So this is when I was working with Jamie. This is a long time ago. Uh, it's it's a way you could just connect with your, your person all the time. And then reports, I'll look at in a second, but reports are everything we just looked at here. So this is what reports looks like. Oh, up here. This kind of setup, income statement, balance sheet, the numbers all, all spread out like this. And then documents is where you upload documents if you have to, any statements, any, yeah, basically any statements or order information. And then accounts is where you link all your accounts. So simple, so easy. They also have all of this in an app. So you could do, you have all these things on your phone as well. I think you would do all documents and stuff on your desktop, but they have an app for that as well. And then you get options to book a call. So I'll just show you this really quick. It's like, I have like, I could do a 15 minute check-in, monthly check-in, or uh, talk to my, my team a little bit. Perfect. It's like so, so easy to connect with them. And I could schedule a call anytime, basically, anytime I want, if I want to talk to them. So let me look at reports. Now, what will happen is it's the beginning of 2019 and it usually needs like two or three months of data to populate, but I'll look at 2017. So what you'll see is I started, yeah, around July, August. I think I started in August and they did a month back, which is a cool thing. And so basically this is right when I started my business and I was like testing some stuff. I went on vacation in December, cool. So top 10 expenses, wonderfully laid out. Marketing and advertising, look at that. In those few months, spent 2,300. That's definitely worth like, oh, investigating or looking into. You have income statement, uh, balance sheet, and then all other other things you can look at in detail of, of your account. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful way to see your numbers. And if this is important to you, this is where Bench's price really makes sense. So let me scroll back up. This will be the final part of the video. So how they figure out pricing. So pricing is typically on this right here, monthly expenses below 1K. So expenses are gonna be the numbers we are looking at here. So expenses per month. So here is like 2,500, here's like 2,600, 2,000. So for me, I fall in this area. So I pay about the 125 a month. Um, if billed annually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I pay 125 a month. The way their billing works is really cool. So I pay a year in advance, but to get this 125, offer. But if I decide that I want to cancel six months into it, there's no fee, there's no charge. And then they'll give me back. They'll, sorry, <laughs> that's the wrong English. That's the wrong English. So they'll, they'll refund me the amount for the leftover months, which is a really cool thing. So it's kind of like a deposit. You pay the, the year up front, save a little bit of money on it. But at the end of it, if six months into it, you decide, oh, this isn't right for me. Well, you could get the six months back uh, that you hadn't used yet. So thus far, I think that's everything. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. But overall, it, it's a really good system. Uh, the back and forth is a really good process. Uh, and once you get going, like now I'm like into it. I only look at my books for like literally less than an hour. And when I say look at my books, I only like think about my accounting for less than an hour a month, which is so helpful. And it helps me make sure I'm not paying too much in taxes. And that's a that's such a win win. So there's thousands of dollars being saved potentially for them doing my books rather than me 
who knows nothing about running books. Uh, below, you'll have a link to, to uh, sign up. And if you use that link, I'll get a kickback and you'll get a kickback. So if you want to sign up and try it out, you'll get a month free. Uh, and, and I hope you enjoy it.